Are you looking for the best laptops for photo editing under $500 of 2021? In this video we will look at some of the top laptops for photo editing under $500 on the market. Before we get started with our video we have included links in the description for each product mentioned so make sure you check those out to see which is in your budget range. Starting at number 5. Acer Aspire 5. The Acer Aspire 5 is our first pick for a photo editing laptop under $500. As this machine brings a better set of hardware, you may have to shell out a few more dollars. But, in the long run, it is an excellent investment. If you cannot move an inch from the budget restraint, you can check out the lower end variant of the same machine, which costs less than $400. Like we mentioned in the introduction, Acer Aspire 5 is one of those machines powered by a newer generation processor from Intel. The Intel Core i5-1035G1, which has the base and turbo boost speeds of 1 GHz and 3.6 GHz respectively. The processor combined with the RAM and GPU can handle your preferred photo editing suite without a problem. You won't even have a problem if you overclock it through some multitasking. On the graphics side, though, the integrated Intel UHD card provides only satisfactory performance. At number 4. Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is also a laptop that checks all the necessary boxes we might consider for speed and reliability. However, unlike the first pick, this one uses a chipset from AMD, which has a good history of clean performance. Without spending too much over the limit, you can also get some premium looking features in the package. First things first, the AMD Ryzen 5 3500U processor built into the system has a base clock speed of 2.1 GHz. The same has a maximum boost clock of 3.7 GHz, which is great when you want to handle a multi-layer dock on Photoshop or another editing suite from Adobe Creative Cloud. Included with the processor is the Radeon Vega 8 graphics, an 8-core integrated GPU that performs better than Intel's integrated options. At number 3. Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Renewed laptops are an excellent choice when you have a serious budget constraint, you know. Devices in this category can offer premium quality performance without costing a lot. If this idea sounds fine to you, it makes sense to check out the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Despite being half a decade old, this model is still an amazing choice for Photoshop. First of all, the Surface Pro 3 runs on an Intel Core i5-4300U, which has a base clock speed of 1.9 GHz. When running heavy-duty apps like Photoshop or Lightroom, the processor can overclock up to 2.9 GHz, which is a decent figure. As you can guess, this is a fourth-generation Haswell processor, and you can't expect lightning-fast speed from this one. The same is the case for its integrated graphics options as well. Therefore, you will have to keep your dreams of aggressive multitasking at bay. At number 2. HP Notebook 14. Many people consider 14 inches as the optimal screen size for a photo editing laptop. While it isn't as small as a 13-inch device, you don't have to handle something as bulky as a 15.6-inch beast, either. So, if you need a device that combines impressive hardware with a 14-inch panel, you should check out the HP Notebook 14. Like our top pick, HP Notebook 14 is also using a 10th generation i5 processor from Intel. The Intel Core i3-1035G1 brings the best performance and battery life thanks to its base clock speed of 1 GHz and the top speed of 3.4 GHz. The CPU works in sync with the integrated graphics card to provide a smooth experience while working on Photoshop. While a discrete video graphics card can make things better, we can't expect that when you are spending less than $500. At number 1. Dell Inspiron 14. In the first look, the Dell Inspiron 14 doesn't strike as a great laptop. However, when the stakes are high, you can consider this device for an overall smooth photo editing experience. However, to survive the low system hardware situation, you will have to either slow down your power requirements or look at some hardware upgrade options. The Intel Core i3-1035G1 is probably the best thing about this sub-$500 machine. It has a top clock speed of 1 GHz, and it can boost all the way to 3.4 GHz. While these numbers are good enough to keep Photoshop running, you shouldn't try to multitask the hell out of this device. 
In the same way, you can rely on the Intel integrated graphics to handle the basic needs. The problem is that you cannot rely on the built-in hardware when it comes to multitasking. The device packs only 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 128GB of SSD storage.